Hey, how are you today? My name is Henry, and uh, we're going to talk about alternating current and direct current today. Um, alternating current was an invention by Mr. Nikolai Tesla in the late 1800s. Um, he produ produced this while he was actually working under the wing of Thomas Edison. And um, Edison, on the other hand, actually, uh, was working on direct current, which is the other topic of today's discussion. What we're going to do today is differentiate between the two and uh, give you an idea how to measure them. Uh, so alternating current, uh, as you can imagine, looks something just like this right here. It, um, I mean, well, it's, a, it's an alternating current. As you can imagine, is a, is a wave that alternates, and it allows us to look at the, uh, a circuit across multiple voltages all at once. And um, Edison's product, uh, direct current, looks a little something like this, and that's going to give us a uniform voltage when we're analyzing our circuits. Um, the two can actually sort of... Uh, pair together and uh, they produce a wave that looks something like this. It's basically just an alternating um, voltage with a, uh, a nice DC offset. And uh, Landon later on is going to show you how to investigate that in the lab. And uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and pass that off to him right now. Hey Henry, I'm going to be showing you an example of what you just showed on the whiteboard. So here we have our circuit set up. Here we have our function generator coming into the circuit. Here we have the two resistors connected in series, and we have the digital multimeter reading on both sides of the resistors, and we have the oscilloscope here. Now we are going to go throw some AC current into this circuit. Let's go to the function generator. So just to keep things standard and simple, we are going to set the function generator to a 1K frequency sinusoidal wave with no DC offset. Just set that right there. Perfect. Alright, so back to our circuit. Here we have the digital multimeter hooked up. If we uh, switch it to DC, we can read that it'll be down to zero or approximately zero. And if we switch it to AC, we're going to have the RMS value of the voltage coming through. Now, let's go back to the function generator and throw some DC in instead. So now we can fire off the generator, unhook it from the circuit, and throw some straight DC voltage in to get a reading that way. Just like that. So now back to our circuit when we have DC coming through into the circuit. If we look at the multimeter, reading it as a DC, we get 5 volts approximately. And if we go back to read the RMS value of the AC current, it should be around zero, same as DC when they have AC going through. Now back to the oscilloscope, we have DC offset of 5 volts, which is exactly what we got, and there is no sine wave because there is no AC current. Now back to the function generator when we're going to throw some AC and DC in. Turn it to a sinusoidal wave and the offset here is a nice function on here. Now I'm looking at the digital multimeter when I do this and I can tell how much it has. Now back to our circuit when we have DC and AC running through with the function generator. If we take a reading on here what you'd expect to see is your 5 volt DC offset, which is exactly what we get. When you go to AC, the RMS value is around 3 again, which is exactly what we wanted. Now with both currents, we can trigger this to 5 volts, and it's perfect again. As you can see, the middle of the sine wave is at 5 volts, which is our DC offset and the amplitude of the AC is still 5 as well, which we have set. So I hope that helped clear things up. Now back to you, Henry, to finish this off. Thanks, Landon. I think uh, Edison and Tesla will be proud. All right, so uh, in summary, we do have the two types of currents and the three different scopes they're going to give you. You've got the uh, just plain AC, you can have plain DC, and you can have the combination of the two, which looks like this. So. Um, I hope that ACDC means more than just the rock band to you now, and I hope you guys have a great day.